too much I swear that these niggas, they be doing too much I ain't got it Listen, this is what I gotta say about the situation And I'ma keep it a buck a lot of people might not like this, man, but I'm going to keep it above. I'm going to keep it 100 because that's all I can keep it on this channel. This situation right here, man, as tragic as it is, tragic as it is, you know, a life was taken. You can't get that life back. And even if one of these sides, if Kwando's side, the Dirk side even wanted to move forward, they can't. And y'all want to know why? Because of the Internet. I blame the Internet. I blame the toxic fans that have instigated this beef. And put fuel onto the fire. Because here's the thing, man. Y'all remember when it first happened. When this whole thing first happened, man. I think it was academics that posted about it. And said that Kwando, you know, he felt really regretful. I guess he reached out to somebody in Kwando's camp. And they said that Kwando felt really regretful. He felt bad about the situation. And, you know, they left it at that. Then that's when all the rumors on Twitter start. Oh, Dirk got a meal on Kwando's head. Everybody was putting it on Twitter, commenting on Kwando's, probably DMing him and everything. Dirk got a meal on your head. Oh, he going to kill you when he see you. Oh, that show you got in Atlanta. Oh, he going to, they going to kill you there. And then what happens? Kwando comes out with the end of story song that weekend and put that in the song saying, meal on my head. That's all you got. Make it eight. That never came out of Dirk mouth. The internet, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all be thinking that these rappers don't see these comments. Y'all think they don't see the DMs, man? Listen, they could open y'all DMs, man. Y'all won't even know that they opened it because you got to accept somebody's DM on Instagram. They could see these DMs and be like, oh, he, oh, he got a mill on my head? Oh, yeah, I'm going to let it be known. I'm going to let it be known I ain't scared. And then the other way, like you got people probably in Dirk's ear. Why you ain't slide yet? Oh, you dropping all these tapes, but you still ain't slide? What you scared? I thought you was a killer. You still ain't slide. And beef that ain't got nothing to do with them. That's the one thing I hate so much about the game nowadays, man. I feel like nowadays it's too many fans that's so biased, man. I remember a time where you can vibe to anybody music. It didn't matter who they was with, who they was beefing with. If you like their music, you like their music. Nowadays it's, oh, I only listen to Young Boy and No Cap and Quando. I don't listen to nobody else, Fuck them niggas. Man, they beef ain't got nothing to do with you. And then you got some people only listen to Vine. We ain't from 63rd. Only listen to Dirt. Some is that ain't even from Chicago saying we ain't from 60. I mean, come on, the beef ain't got nothing to do with y'all. It's so much toxic, man. Listen, it's so toxic in the game right now. It's so toxic, man. And you know what, though? Mm. You know what, though? I feel like, I feel like, man, I want to say it was a year ago, almost a year ago, when FBG Doug got killed. And I think it was the next day. King Von and Lil Durk came out with that uh, music video, all these niggas. And before I even did the reaction, man, I'm like, man, because I seen all the memes on Twitter, everybody making fun of it. And I was like, man, this beef ain't got nothing to do with fans. Like y'all saying y'all smoking this and that have never even stepped foot in Chicago before. And it's like, man, y'all got to, some people need to learn is just stay in the fans place. Stay in the fans place, man, because like people getting on the internet taunting, and, you know, doing all this stuff just to get these rappers to to, to respond. Man, y'all got to realize, everybody involved in this, man, these boys really live what they rap about. Rap is a lot different nowadays than what it was back in 2006. Back then, it was you could be, listen, you could be the fakest get around. 98% of the game back then was all niggas from the suburbs. Ever since Chicago Drill, when, when Chief Keith started it, that's when all the street niggas say, oh, yeah, I'm about to make this rap work. I'm about to make this rapping work. Man, these boys then caught bodies. They did prison biz. They active in the streets. They ain't going to appreciate being called soft and saying all this stuff, even if it ain't true. I'm telling you, man, listen, the fans nowadays are so toxic, dog. They, and it's so crazy, man. I could tell in Kwando in this interview just in these few minutes you know, Kwando, he ain't want none of this to happen. He ain't want none of this to happen. It's it's tragic. And I said this, man, you know what? I said this months before Vaughn even passed. Because y'all know I with Vaughn. I said Vaughn was going to be the one to take Drill to the next level, the next 10 years plus. He was going to take Chicago Drill to the next level. And it's like, man, 
this situation is so tragic because that career, that promising career that he had was cut short a week after he released Welcome to O-Block. A week after he released his first album, he gets killed. And then what happens? All the, all the internet trolls and everybody that want to be in on this beat for some weird reason. Like, listen, you got a right to rock with who you want to rock with. But when you get to getting on the internet, making up lies and saying all this stuff, and then people be so shocked when something happened, like if somebody were to get killed, oh, we got to stop the violence. We got to do better. What y'all think was going to happen? These some real street niggas, man. What y'all think was going to happen? Stop the violence. Man, come on. Now y'all in these rappers DMs telling them, oh, dirt going to kill you. Oh, you what you scared to slide for your mans now? Come on now. Come on, man. Like, fans ain't fans no more to me, man. I'm And I'm keeping it real. Some people might not like it, but I'm keeping it real, man. And as far as the whole self-defense thing, I think the self-defense situation is going to help Lil Tim. I think he, I think he's going to beat this case. I do believe they trying to get him on some other case or something like that. I don't know the details, but I think as far as the, the killing of King Von, I think he might get off of it with self-defense because it's all on camera it's all on camera von walked up to Quando and hit him and Lil tim did what anybody else would do and you would be lying if you said you wouldn't do the same thing you would be lying if you said and listen von is my man i'm telling y'all know i with von but you would be lying if you said that you didn't want somebody in your camp like that somebody that could watch your back like that what you gonna do if you see if you saw your brother or sister get hit in the face and a large group of people right behind them which which gonna be the what's gonna be the first thing you do you would be lying if you say you wouldn't man listen i ain't even gonna get into details with that tim did what any of us would do he did what any of us would do and the situation is so it's so tragic man because man like i with both sides so heavy on the channel y'all know i'm not biased i'm not like none of these other people out here that's man listen I'm not biased. I rock with Young Boy and Quando. I rock with Dirk. I rock with Fredo. Man, listen, I rock with everybody on this channel. I just love music. And the situation is just so sad because it was a promising career taken. You know, I don't know where we gonna go from here. Honestly, man, like it's 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 past music. It's way past music. And I think the reason that's the reason why Quando's been going so hard in his in his music lately. You know all the songs he's releasing and i'll admit it when i react to dirk and von especially especially like lately like i be listening like oh was that line about quando oh was this line about dirk was 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 this about von but i you ain't gonna catch me on dm and in, in instagram and twitter saying oh yeah this was this was about this hold on you ain't gonna catch me all on twitter saying oh yeah he did this he said this me catching listen commenting on dirk's lie oh he said that he said he was smoking on this. What you gonna do about it? Come on now. Come on, man. I I think it's the internet, it's the fans that's gonna drag this out. And honestly, man, because of it, I don't know how this is gonna end. I don't know how it's gonna end, man. Like I said, both sides, they really, they really live what they rap about. And a life was taken in this whole thing, man. A life was taken. You can't get a life back. You know, rest up to King Von for sure. Just the whole situation, man. It's just so fucked up. It's it's so fucked up. Like, I swear it is, man. I don't even know what else to say, man. I want y'all to listen. Get in the comments. Get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think about it, too. Everybody's going to have their own opinion about it. Everybody is going to have their own opinion about it, man. But I want y'all to get in the comments and sound off y'all thoughts and opinions on it, man. This was part one of the interview with Quando Rondo and Angela Yee, the November 6th interview, man. Link down below in the description. Y'all want to check it out in its entirety. If y'all new to the channel, y'all rock with me. Want daily reaction videos, man. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me into the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Money Yachi TV. I'm out. I ain't gotta do too much. I swear that these niggas, they be doing too much. I ain't gotta